What's up YouTube, Jeff Robbins here. So this video is coming straight from the comments. So shout out to everyone who's been leaving comments on my videos, I really appreciate that. And in this video we're going to measure our steering sweep and our caster. So anyone that's not familiar with steering sweep, we're essentially just gonna measure how far our wheel turns. So if we're turning our wheel here, you'll notice that there's gonna be a point where the hub will pause and it'll actually start coming back the other way. So let's start turning the wheel, the hub will pause, and then it'll actually start coming back the other way. Similar to where if you're using a dial indicator and you're measuring for top dead center, um, similar to that. So we'll do the, go ahead and we'll do the steering sweep check, make any adjustments that's needed, and then we'll check our caster. Okay, so before we take our sweep measurement, we'll want to get a few things set up just like we did in the front end alignment video. Um, we're going to want to get our lasers mounted to our stub axles, make sure that the floats are level, and then we're going to want to make sure that both the lasers line up on top of each other, just like we did in the front end alignment video uh, before we get started here. So we've got everything set up, ready to go, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a tape measure, and I'm going to hook it to the front of the go-kart here where we mount our fuel tank and then we're going to start turning the wheel and we're going to watch to see when that laser comes onto the tape and we're going to remember the number so right there is where as far as we can turn the wheel before it starts turning back in so that's reading 32 and a half millimeters that number really doesn't mean anything. We're just gonna to wanna to make sure it's the same on both sides. So we'll go ahead and check the other side of the go-kart. Okay, so let's check. The right side of the go-kart, same thing. Set up our tape measure and we'll start turning the wheel. Laser will come in. See, that one stops at 34. So it's quite a bit different from the left side to the right side. So since this side's more, we're gonna actually adjust this side. So all we're gonna do is spin our tie rod out like we're adjusting the toe. And we were at about 32 and a half on the other side. So right about there, 32 and a half. Let's just double check. Okay, 32 and a half. Let's go back over to the other side and make sure nothing has moved on us. Okay, so we're back over here to the left-hand side of the cart. Let's get our tape measure hooked up. Start turning the wheel. Let's see what we get. Thirty-two and a half. Okay, so now that we have the, the sweep the same on both sides, from here, what we would do, straighten our steering out. We would line up our lasers right on top of each other. And from here, we can go ahead and set our toe. So you know what, I'll just do that real quick. You can see the laser landing on the grid on the other side over there. We'll just put it right there just for demonstration purposes. Go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so now we have our toe set the same on both sides, and then we're just gonna wanna come in here with our laser and make sure our laser's still lining up. That's pretty close. Close enough for me anyway. So right there, perfect. Okay, so to check caster, our lasers actually came with this ruler. And, they, and it also they also provide you with a little magnet here. 
So what we'll do is we're just gonna mount this here to the front of our go-kart, just like that. Stop it from waggling. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our wheel and see where the lasers hit the tape measure. So as we're turning the wheel to the left, you can see the laser come across. It looks like it's at about, I don't know, 25, 225 millimeters. And the number really doesn't matter. We're just making sure that it's the same on both sides. So let's go ahead and turn the wheel the other way. Until the laser comes across the tape measure. You can see that it's about 225 millimeters as well. So it looks like the caster is pretty even across both sides of the go-kart. Really the only reason I would check my caster like that is if, um, say for example, uh, my son gets into an on-track incident and we think that the front of the go-kart might potentially have a bend in it, that's when I would go ahead and do a caster check. But it's a real simple check. Just mount the ruler, turn the wheel the one way, wait for the laser to come across, remember the number, and turn it the other way. Wait for the laser to come across, and that's how you can verify you've got the even caster across both sides of your go-kart. So simple as that. Thanks again for watching my videos, and have a good time at the track.